Thursday. Don't know what I did Thursday. Let me have a look. I ran or I cycled. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Today I'm going to have a quick look back on my last week's training and talk about why good enough, bringing good enough to the table every day is going to get you way further than bringing your best every now and again. Let's get stuck in. So with your training, is good enough, good enough? It's, when I was out on my run this morning, I was having a little think about, uh, oh, almost lost the camera. My week's training, how it's gone, etc., etc. what sessions I've done, you know, sort of how they've gone. And a lot of it I could come up with was it was good enough. You know, I didn't, didn't knock anything out of the park. It was all pretty steady, but most of the time, good enough, turning up like today and a couple of days, I go through what I did in the week. Today, this morning, it was an easy hour run. Ah, it kind of felt like a bit like bleh, like it does sometimes, it was, it was fine. There was nothing special on it, it was good enough. It was good, it was an easy hour run. It could have been 30 seconds a mile slower, it could have been 30 seconds a mile quicker, still would have done the same thing, would have still got all the same training benefits, so good enough. It's like the phrase of the video. So I'll go back through my week, and there was a couple of sort of decent-ish sessions that I tried to focus on running well or cycling well and the rest of it was kind of as it felt really. Tuesday was a brick session, really steady. It was an hour on the bike, um, endurance hour, quite low key, nothing major. And then there was a run off the bike and the run off the bike had a 10 minute, no, 15, 15 minute block of running at threshold so out of that workout when i look at that on paper the endurance hour on the bike not really fussed where that goes as in power how it feels it's it's not the important bit and the running off the bike the first 10 or 15 minutes is not that important so i'm not bothered that's a good enough again but i try to make that 15 minutes try and hit that because that's the quality of that session you know a little bit of fatigue you've been on the bike for an hour you know you're running for 45 minutes so just hitting that little bit of quality 15 minutes that's the key bit of that that session on that day so so that was cool wednesday was 75 minute run and i had to split that up before and after work which so i got went out early before work did five miles in the morning and then repeated basically the same run with the kids on the bikes in the evening pace was felt lethargic i don't particularly like running early in the morning so that didn't feel great, but it was good enough. It was it was supposed to be 75 minutes easy run and I split it up, okay, over two runs. So it's not quite the same, but um, it was good. It, it got what I needed to get out of it. I need to cut a few more logs, otherwise she's gonna wonder what I've been doing out here. And just talking to you is not gonna get it done. So, um, where was I? Uh, Wednesday, oh, Wednesday was an easy run, double day, or double run day, because I couldn't do it all in one go. Uh, Thursday, don't know what I did Thursday. Let me have a look. I ran or I cycled. Right. Ah, Thursday, so Thursday was, Thursday was a sort of 90 minute, 80 minute bike on the turbo zwift and it was just some really high uh l6 zone six type effort so 465 470 watts for short bursts micro burst type session it's pretty low key the rest of it but the quality was in those you know trying to hit the numbers for those short 20 second bursts which i did okay so and again the rest of it yeah it didn't have to be anything special just turn up do the time sit on the bike do the uh, session so that was cool uh friday was another had another brick session on friday actually so i had two hours another hour on the bike uh, and this time it was an hour run off the bike but steady so there was no tempo intervals but 
what I like to do with these sessions, especially brick sessions, I like to concentrate and focus on running well off the bike, get the feel. I think it instills good confidence, you know, when you get off the bike and run, not hard, but smooth, try and make it feel smooth. I always feel like I run faster off the bike anyway. Legs are kind of warmed up. You've got that bit of cadence. You've been churning away on the bike. Yeah, so it was an endurance zone to ride again on the bike. There was no intensity there, uh, but I, and I ran a solid nine miles. So I averaged something off the bike in the hour. So it was about 6.35, 6.40 minute mile pace. Uh, felt felt smooth, felt good. Heart rate was in control. I felt towards the end, you know, if you needed to carry on and run another five, six miles or, you know, whatever, make it a half marathon, um, that would have been cool. So, But the key for that session for me was running well off the bike doesn't have to be flat out, doesn't have to be threshold tempo to be classed as a good run. Running in control, smooth. You know, it's about adapting to running well off the bike. Once you've done a bike, even if it's an easy bike session, you don't have to trash yourself during the bike session to then get good at running off the bike. Just run off the bike, do an hour, can be steady, and just run smoothly, run in control, finish feeling good. So I right, get off the bike, nailing it for a bit, legs start to wobble you fall to bits you start you know you lose form if you have to cut that time an hour off the bike is quite a long run so if you're not up to that just run for 15 minutes or 20 minutes or five minutes but run well off the bike run with good form and you know maintaining good don't know what the word is but just running nicely off the bike is a is a key in training so uh, moving on to Saturday. Saturday was a 90 minute and that was a group session online. So back on the turbo. And that was a decent one actually. It was a threshold session, descending threshold session, uh, intervals with equal recovery. So it was hard but comfortably hard as it should be with threshold. You should be able to hold that for a decent period of time. No run off the bike, nothing like that. And then the uh, intervals towards the end were up in the uh, high sort of VO2 max what you call effort so 110 percent and then 120 percent so they were tough they started to buy even for a short period of time like a minute or so but decent session that was one of the more key sessions this week uh that went well not amazingly well but it was good after <laughs> after the you know two hour brick the day before which was decent and then you know the 90 minutes for that and the two hours on tuesday night so it's that accumulative being able to turn up do the sessions complete them without you know i'm not setting any records there it's only doing some intervals at threshold it's nothing impressive but being able to do that consistently and then today sunday so this is the last day of the training week i ran for an hour this morning with the kids on the bikes again like i said earlier it felt blah it was fine it was just a kind of one of those i'm like oh have i still got 20 minutes left to run you know 40 minutes just felt like it was time was dragging a bit this morning didn't really set out much of a route but uh and then tonight i got another 90 minutes on the bike again kind of a, just a ride to feel nice and easy at the moment there's nothing specific to be specific about race wise got nothing in the calendar that's an a race hopefully things open up in the summer uh, events abroad especially european and the world champs or whatever for the middle distance duathlon so that would be something to actually be more specific about but at the moment just ticking along ticking along turn up good enough most weeks is good enough but just nail the now the quality of the session and you don't have to go over the top to make it a good session so if your coach sets you a plan and wants you to run at threshold he doesn't want to see you running at 5k pace that yes yeah, it looks good and you think oh yeah i've smashed that but that's not what he's after for the for the structure of the session so do what you had planned and if you feel great doing it and it feels comfortable cool you're probably getting fitter and you're in a good place but most of the time if you've been training consistently you're never on top form in training you don't want to be you don't want to be one of those people that trains really well and then races like crap so right get back to me tree cutting wasted too much time on here today thanks for checking out the video guys who's shouting uh yeah you can like subscribe and that's because the video is good enough it's 
good enough for this. <laughs> Alright, see you later guys, thanks